on paper. I mean, I know historically Ascent have fared fairly well against Froyotech in past seasons of ESCA on this map, in playoffs and stuff, but uh, we're going right away live here. The players have all readied up, so let's make some noise. It's map two of the Froyotech versus Ascent Grand Finals at Rewind 2 Esports Arena. Here we go, Habib getting the mid a little bit faster than Badonsi, just trying to get some sickies down to start off the fight. Help the positioning for the enemy team just a little bit there now. Marmalade as well, trying to get some spam down again. Nobody wants to get aggressive just yet. Nobody's even walked across that point. Blade's gonna make the first move here. Bombing aggressively on the enemy team. Soldier shot of the air by Boar, but at the same time, Eric does get the frag on Marmalade. So one soldier down a piece, still put charging across his force. And now Habib hits a pipe. Oh, side guy goes down at the exact same time. Boar managed to get aggressive on Habib. So no demo man on the side of Froyotech, but I think this is going to be their mid fight. Yomps is in behind already on this second point. He's gonna get this pack and then immediately be back in onto the Medicare. Retreat back to his team, jumping all over the place, focusing down uh, the soldier here. Oh, Demo Boar. man. Wow, Boar just got two quick frags. Vanny and Yomps both end up getting taken down in Protect. They were looking so good, they should have got the medic and the Demo man, but absolutely not going to happen as Boar comes out here and completely stops anything that was happening for Froyo. Yeah, huge play from Boar. Froyo said, screw the point, we can get the medic, but it didn't work out. Boar going so huge, and because of that, the point was never capped, and Ascent going to walk right back in with that 6v4 advantage. They're going to get the cap off, and now time for Marmalou to go for a play onto Shade, or perhaps just an uber trade. That is the Patty special. He loves to do it, and you can see Size is walking in. They pop off right onto Shade, going to pop immediately as well. But Ascent, weak HP here. Side coming around onto the scout. Gets a bit of damage, but Eric can stay alive, get that pack. Boar going down on the flank as well. So now, opportunity here for Froyo to push mid. Ascent on the retreat. Still a bit on the point, but they know they have to give this up. They're going to be getting out of their saw right now, and an easy mid cap here for Froyo Tech. Now, that's always such a risky play coming in with the even uber charge trade. I mean, it's basically a 50 50 coin flip um, before you account for the other smaller advantages. But now Yomps immediately in onto the medic. Good, sir. Fine, Nursey. Is she going to be able to stay alive? That's the question. Good support from her team, but is it going to be enough? She's oh. going to get another surf up in the air. Oh. Craters to the ground. Yomps gets credit for that one. Couldn't hit the air shot for the frag movie, but it still counts for the game. Oh, look at Yomp's movement around the map is so beautiful. He just, the amount of area that he can get around in such a short time, his jumps, he's so good at that. And you could just see he's all over Nursey. It felt like even though Nursey was hitting these incredible straights, Yomp was, uh, was just right on her tail. And that's going to be the medic down for Ascent Shade, building up that whole time. Froyo content, waiting for these respawns. Habib walking through the saw room here. Froyotech gearing up for the push. Nursey on the respawn. And actually, you're going to see it uh, by, just by the class composition. Ascent, they want to give it up. But Patty opening onto Banny. Soldier aggression here for Marmalou. We were still not forced. Shade holding on. So much damage onto Habib. Sai gets one. Actually, Badonski with one too. So it's only three up for Froyo. This is potentially dangerous for them. But Ascent, <laughs> unfortunately, they got so many frags. But their class composition coming back to bite them as they actually just have to hold last now. Yeah, I think that was a bit too passive a play from the from Ascent. I mean, they made the call. I guess they just thought we were going to well, like, sack some players in to ideally get the force or something. But really what they got was a couple of kills. And because they didn't even get that force, I mean, it's going to be about an even uber charge uh, situation. Is Nurse is already at 90% here. But uh, I don't know. They sacked three players in, and now they're a bit worse off than they otherwise could have been. But... Either way, I mean, they're better prepared for last, I suppose, in this situation. We can see they've got a couple of off-classes up now, looking in through this right-hand side. I mean, if they can get anything crazy, uh, this would be the time to do it, because Fire Attack are looking to get ready in. It is still 0-0 on the clock, four minutes into this first map, and they're just spamming the sentry gun with the pistol. Banny trying to get it down. Finally, somebody reacts to him. Patty takes that first shot, not able to hit anything. Yomps gets the gun. So no more sentry gun on the side of Ascent. If Froyotech want to use that as an opportunity to push in, they're looking like they're uh, kind of conquering over on this right-hand side. They're going to throw their soldier in instead. Focusing down the Engineer. Not going to work out for Blaze, and Eric can take down the exact same time. Engineer with that taunt for <laughs> uh, maybe using these off-classes in an aggressive situation where they know, uh, not, are not usually uh, used. Coming in now here on this lower area, Marmalou. Maybe trying to get some damage down onto Yomps, but they really can't aggress uh, at this point. Ascent, they are one up, but they're going to pop the Uber Charge off. This is a little bit risky from the back cap situation, but if they're going to take the fight, if it goes well, if they get a lot of frags, like Habib going down, they're going to watch out for oh, a Banny, Banny, though, running into last, getting the frag. Nursey's dodging so well, though, finally taken down. I mean, that took so long. Banny with the pistol eventually does get the frag on a her. Banny now going to be looking to maybe get into last. He can't wait for his team as well. Sai Guy just stalling oh! on his right-hand side. Great job with the shotgun uh, combo there. Does get the first frag on Eric with Blaze, able to clean Bogdansky him up. So the much time on the point. Got to be able to kill Banny as he's getting a lot of time there, but we'll now see Badonski. 
Oh my god, they're actually gonna hold that. that there's no oh, way they should have held that round. No way, that insane combo from Sh uh, Sai, that's what he's been doing all land. I don't know how he does it. Once again, that stalls it out just long enough for Badonski to get onto the respawn. So, Ascent somehow just making miracles with their incredible individual plays. Sai guy just so good with the shotgun, one of the, the best to ever use in the game. So, Ascent here, they're gonna be holding on to their last, at least for just another brief moment as Furio Tech, they're building up in the lobby, a slight advantage here. Ascent trying to get it as fast as possible, but they actually have opted not to go with any uh, off classes here as Froyo. Looks like they want to come in. Yeah, they will. B uh, Banny taking in that Uru Badonsky retreating in the spawn. Going to get the cap time. He might just cap it out. No, just barely getting stalled. But so many frags for the side of Froyo. They have to take this, yeah. and they do. All of a sudden, jumping on the point. Banny just getting the time. And that play he made earlier, the 2K onto Nursi and the scout, so influential too. That's what got them the advantage. So Banny going massive for Froyo. Yeah, I mean, so this is the dominance we were, weren't seeing last game from him. This time he's really turning it on. It was only the first round, one over for attack, and it took six minutes, so wasn't a roll by any stretch of the imagination, but now the second mid's gonna be very important for a sense of shape of the rest of the game. But Donsky getting here, trying to spam down some stickies, change the positioning, the overhead view is we're gonna see players try to walk across the point. Nobody getting aggressive just yet, but I can tell some soldiers are wanting to bomb. Sooner rather than later. Here we go. Yomps is getting aggressive. But he sees the enemy soldier bombing him now. Does get the frag onto Marmalu. So one down early on the side of Ascent. Yomps still has a lot he could go for, but 3 HP does get taken down in the end. Yomps and Blaze both get cleaned up. The frags are going each way back and forth. Eric, oh, oh the Uber sub from Nursey. She's gonna, oh, but is it gonna be enough? She's gonna try to get a second one. Oh, she's gonna do so much here. Oh, just dancing around the Froyo Tech player. She's in on mid still. What is she even doing at this point? She's going for the counter med pick or something she's living for so long. What is she doing? What is she doing? She's just standing there, finally hits her suicide key. Shade gets the credit for that one. My god, Froyo Tech are gonna win the mid. Freyo Tech with 100% Uber <laughs> Nursey on the respawn screen. So Ascent going for some potential desperation plays here. So you see an array of classes there over on the red side. Freyo finishing that mid cap and already pressing up into two. Yomps is just doing so much for Freyo right now. It's honestly insane. Playing scout and invite for so long and just switching over to soldier with ease. But Marmalu, he actually he does get spotted <laughs> out. He's just gonna try to live and actually, oh, just okay. barely. He's gonna get, oh, never spoke mind. too soon. Down he goes, Banny. And now the Uber should be coming in for Vario Tech. Yeah, 100%. Only 40 on the side of Nurse. I mean, she lived for so long before finally getting taken down. A little bit of time on point. Banny did have to get flashed, but all the frags are coming in. Vario Tech gonna make it a 2 0 game. Just a clean round from Froyo, mid so far, going convincingly to their side, and that's been the real catalyst of that 2-0 lead at the moment. Beeb with the wacky roll out there. Um, but yeah, Froyo, these mids have been so good. Yomp's doing so much. Uh, I sent they've been able to get a couple frags, but it's really only been on the bombing soldier, so that's not of enough significance to actually get them the mid win. Yeah, Habib sticking off that log to start things off. Not ideal, but he can still follow this up, place some stickies down on the rest of the enemy team where they gotta walk across. A couple of soldiers looking to get aggressive here. Marmalade just kind of peeking forward. There's some guys in kitchen as well who could make a move later on in this mid. There's a soldier in now. It looks like Marmalade gets taken down. Big shot by Yomps comes out, but no frags are followed up. Patty gets taken down by Eric and the pistol. Yomps not done yet. Just turns around though. Great job by Boar to be able to make that heads up play and get the frag onto the bombing soldier. But with only him and Nursey left alive, uh, it looks like for you, Tech are going to be able to take this mid and second point ascent, running away back to last. At the very least, for ascent, Nursi is able to survive this time, so that Uber is going to be full. They'll have a much better chance of defending last. Marmalu actually might go for play here in lobby. Froyo, they don't spot him. He gets the pick on the Banny. That's huge from him. So, opening here for ascent if they want to take it. One down. It's not easy to push off of, but. Banny down, Scout down, that might just be enough. Here they come, they're gonna go through the lobby right now, but Patty down to the trap, it's time to cancel. They're gonna get out, no, but actually forced in lobby. This could be a disaster for them, they need to get the force and somehow to stay alive before Four. he does do it, but he is going to go down. No way for him to get out. The rest of Ascent in the meantime, running all the way out of there. They're gonna have to get ready for this defense and it's not gonna be easy. Yeah, they've got no scouts up. Patty just off that respawn, making it one, so this is gonna be a bit tough to hold on to, but not impossible. Habib, oh, oh my two. god! Psy guy with a shotgun takes down Habib, and Eric Yomp falling very shortly from Patty off the respawn. So that leaves just three Froyo Tech players left alive immediately after this uh, last fight starts. 
There is a couple of players still roaming Whoa. around here. Yeah, watch out because oh no, oh, no, not again. Danny's Danny on from lower on last side guy. Bond, but can he get there side in time? Guy. No. 3-0 for Froyo Tech and oh my god. I mean, this map has not been going in favor of Ascent at all. Right, that can be rolling out now, but it's just so tough. Yeah, mids just not going at all in the favor of Ascent. They're not even able to get Shade, which was keeping them in in the last game. Sai just finding Shade on every mid, but at this point, Shade staying alive, Nursi struggling to do so, and Ascent, they need to switch something up. Yeah, their mids have been really, really bad so far for them. Coming in now, Blaze, super fast, super aggressive. Sagai again with that shotgun, able to deny the bombing roamer, but Marmalu actually trades out with Banny, taking that frag down on him, making it a five on five. Sagai, shotgun not powerful enough this time. Eric got a lot of damage pumped into him, but eats an arrow and he's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Four alive on Ascent, they do lose the midpoint though. Ascent just at no point really getting aggressive. They're just letting Froyo play how they want. Look at the beat bombing in right now. Dam's coming in from Doski and actually Yomps wow. with the force. He's so weak though. Yeah, he's gonna go down, but look at the positioning from Shade. I mean, he's in no spot to get forced. Nursey getting launched across the map, but now Ascent, they're in a really, really tough position. Shay is going to come into the Uber. They might be overextended here. Podonsky, he just wants to live, but the bomb from Habib, and there he goes. But Uber forced off because of that damage onto Habib. So Podonsky, in a way, actually kind of salvaging this for Ascent, as now they kind of want to re-push from the bridge. Patty able to survive. They couldn't find him on the map, and now actually flank from lower. Damage onto Shay. That's Marmalu all the way in behind Ascent. They're trying to capitalize. Habib down. Weak scout on the side of Froyo. Patty coming in, trying to do some more damage. Get a frag here. Four on the flank from Kitchen, but not able to find anything yet. Patty getting one on Yomps, but oh, in the back line, in the yeah. midst of all that chaos, Yomps taking out Nursi. That's so huge. Yeah, with no medic on the side of Ascent, I mean, for attack in the much more dominant position. They don't have uh, the same amount of players up, but it doesn't even matter. They're going to be looking to get into the second point sooner rather than later. Take a bit of spam damage here in Saw, but it's not going to slow them down all too long. For, uh, Eric already getting up onto this point, capping it off. And there is going to be some bombs trying to take down some players here, maybe get the force out if at all possible. Shade only at 90%, but if this lasts a little bit longer, Patty taken down. He's trying to get aggressive. There's actually a lot of Ascent players in here, but none of them are getting anything. Four finally takes down Banny, but at what cost? Three down on the side of Ascent. Yeah, absolutely. Shade actually didn't even have his Uber yet, so I mean, he <laughs> might have forced if he had it, but he didn't, so instead he just survives, and he's now sat with 100%. Great play from him. It's Froyo. They're getting aggressive. Yom's leading the charge, as always, trying to connect these directs, but he might just go down the Uber, not able to flash. Oh, Shade just barely gets him, but Donsky, in the meantime, pick on a blaze. So much cap time, though. Ascent, they need to jump on it. They're blocking it for now. Frag's trading on a bus. Oh, what a pipe from Abib! But Badonsky cleaning it up, just Banny and Shade alive. And look at this, Banny, he actually spots out Badonsky, but he's gonna get out of there. Ascent, the, oh, tough for them to push in this situation. Just so many frags, despite Froyotech bailing the push, at the very least for them, getting three frags onto Ascent, that's just gonna delay them being able to push out with that Uber. And now Ascent, down 3-0. They're gonna have to push out of here, and they're gonna have to be very, very careful with these back caps that have just been getting all these extra rounds for Froyo so far. Yeah, Eric and Yomps with back caps. I mean, it screwed them on the first map. We'll see on this one if it uh, has the same story play out. Ascent popping the recharge off on this right-hand side. Sagai dropped immediately in the super charge. He was sticky trap from Habib. Now they're gonna get Yomps, but again, Eric is going in behind there. They did leave a player back, but now there's two Froyo players who got shot back. Marmalu trying to get some damage down, but running back to last, it's not gonna be enough. Four cannot do it. Froyo Tech are gonna take this 4-0 and they're looking so much better than Ascent right now. Ascent is just struggling to push out a last, and I mean, that's not even scratching the surface of the main issue here, which is they have yet to win a mid. It feels like all these mids, Froyo are doing exactly what they want, and Ascent is just, they have no plan. They're kind of just standing around, and Froyo taking full advantage of that. They're getting aggressive with Blaze, and that's really the only pick that Ascent have got, and then the rest of the team goes down. So Ascent, they really need to mix something up here. Not even 15 minutes into the map here. That's 16 still on the clock. So Ascent still, I mean, time to switch it up. But Froyotech, so much time just to get one more round. It's going to be very tough for the comeback on Ascent, but not impossible just yet. Saigai bombs in, but take cleaned up by Eric. That's going to make it a little bit tougher. Five on six still going down. Marmalu as well in the back lines. Could be trying to get aggressive here. We can hit some clean rockets, but he's not finding anything. And out with the skill stick cleaned up by Banny. 
managed to find that frag, and that's two down, no soldiers on the side of the center. They're gonna choose after that just to back off, but again, these, these mids that they keep losing game uh, round after round. Yeah, just no coordinated aggression whatsoever, and that's exactly what they need if they want to win one of these mids. So, Froyo, well played to them. I mean, they've swept them all so far. They'll be trying to walk in through lower. Vanny aggressive, that's a stunt, uh, Badonski down. But Warren Patty, the scout, is going to be able to trade out two frags for the one. Not a bad deal in an Uber Force as well. So, Shade back out to mid with the rest of the living Froyo players as Ascent Marmalou trying to get in through lower. Four already in on the flank, blaze down, and that's going to be two down. Patty. Wow. Two frags on the three kill streak and shade down. Marmalu finally ascent something going in their favor. Okay, this is the start they need to get back on track on this map. It might be too little, too late, but they're gonna keep going at it regardless here. 4 0 still for Fire Tech, but middle finally in the hands of Ascent. They're gonna be looking to get into the second point. Banny hits the soldier who's just standing in window for so long, not enough to kill, and he's being bombed on now. He uh, changes his classes and he's gonna be setting up back on last. So. Uh, more prepared now than uh, than they were for the last hole before, but Ascent going to be able to cap off this second point, and of course they do have a large uber charge advantage, so they're going to want to take this right into this last point. They don't have any numbers uh, advantages to speak of, but with this uber charge they can do a whole lot. they got to watch out for these defensive off classes that Froyotech have picked up. Instead of the sniper from Banny, he's uh, playing well the Builder Man, so we'll see. we'll see how it goes. They pop in on this right hand side, focusing the dispenser before they realize that's not an important pick. Getting some time on point, but Patty, he's not realizing the gun's over there and eating a whole lot of damage because of it. Marmalu does get taken down for trying to fight the soldier up in the air. It looks like Patty's gonna be able to clean up on it. And Habib going down means no more stickies on point. It's a 3v3 happening here on the last point. Shares the nurse, oh, he gets taken. Oh my god! Badonski, oh, Badonski. the last medic oh. alive! Nurse gets it on the shade! That's gonna be 4-1 for Ascent as they get their first round on the board. Finally, something for Ascent. Just a disastrous open and still though, yet to win a mid. If they wanna, I mean, if they wanna make a real comeback here, they have to start winning mids. They've been so passive and it's, it's clear that it's not intentional either. They're just so indecisive on what they actually wanna do. It's really painful to watch at this point. They're gonna need to fix it now or never. This is their chance to make a comeback. Now and then the next round and then the next round and then the next round. I mean, they really have their backs against their wall and they will be for the rest of this map. Ascent coming into this next mid fight here. We need to get something, need to change something up. Yomp initially with some good damage down on the enemy team soldier, but Banny, this time he's the first frag going down. That's something new we haven't seen just yet. Eric taking a lot of damage as well and this could be the mid that Ascent need. Oh. They're getting all the frags. Habib, Yomp both get taken down as well as Blade. So that leaves just Eric and Shade left alive. But Donsky's on the hunt. He really wants these frags. Already we see Shade is out to last, so he's not gonna be dying, but I mean, Ascent, they're just getting so aggressive already on this last point. They still gotta worry about capping second and everything, but an excellent mid, they finally win one. Finally, that early pick onto Banny just totally paid off. After that, just pushing forward as a team for the first time on Snake Water on these mid fights. So Ascent, they were gonna claim it, but Shade just got out of there somehow. Just, you know, <laughs> some of the greatest medic movement of all time in his repertoire. So he's gonna be able to slip out of there with Eric and now 100% Uber holding this last point. Banny with a wacky gun position. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, building up. It's only level one right now. And it was eating a lot of spam earlier, but still staying alive as he's hitting it with that wrench. So they're going to send the soldier bombing in. Now a couple of players trying to get aggressive. Marley pistol down and the sentry gun does find Boar. So that's the two-man sack on the side of Ascent. We'll see what the response is from Froyotech. Ideally, they'd want to maybe push in, maybe get a sack in of their own. Blaze is so far deep already. You can tell he's hungry, looking for anything he can find, but he's just finding a couple of pellets here. Still trying to get aggressive on the medic, but it's not gonna happen. Eric at the same time trying the same thing, but eating a pipe from Badonski. Yeah, and two down on the side of Froyo. That's certainly one more player than they wanted to lose there as Ascent gonna be pushing from the left gun down immediately, so Banny's gonna need to switch. No Uber's force yet, but look at the damage on Habib. Oh, he actually goes down before the Uber's oh, pop from Shade. No. That's huge. Uber's now being traded. Scouts in, everyone in. Pyro now out on the side of Banny, trying to do what he can. Badonski caught in alone. Still no frags on either side. Habib down, but oh, Banny now down. Boar going to get one. He's traded out Blaze with two. Blaze going huge in lower. Side caught in left. He's going to get an arrow, but put time on the point now. That's times two. Froyo bombing in. Oh Patty. my Patty god. Patty and they get it. Ascent, I mean, it's still a mountain to climb, but they're halfway up the mountain already trying to come with the comeback. I mean, 11 minutes still on the clock. This is more than doable. This would be, I mean, one of the greatest comebacks in TF2 history if Ascent were able to come back here, but they got to win this mid-fight first. 
coming out now. But Dawn's going to be salmoning down some stickies. Don't want to get, don't want to rush this. Don't want to be able to lose some players early. If they get to pick on a Banny like they did that first time, that would really help them out. Going to be Blaze bombing pretty aggressively. But Saigai looks like Badonski does get the frag on the Blaze, but he did have to trade that out for Eric. Saigai up top. Look at the soldier uh, shotgun coming out here, doing a lot of damage. Nurse's in a bit of trouble, but uh, the scouts on her team are going to be able to clean up these players. And again, Ascent have won the mid fight. Yeah, Ascent finally figuring it out. Sai does so much damage from medium to long range. He's really, I think he might be the best at that in the game right now. Uh, just his rocket and shotgun precision from that distance is incredible. And Abib now on the point getting pressured in from the wow. yeah, shotgun. And yeah, the Uber's just barely being traded. Banny out here kind of alone to be back on the bat side. Going to try to get some position as the bombs are coming in. Yomps midair. And actually, wow, Badonski with a frag. Patty with a frag. Yomps only getting one. Eric and Banny. Banny flanking right now onto Nursi on point. No protection for Nursi, but can he get it? No. Oh, the Banny Beef. Oh, the crowd's excited about that one. Just Habib and Shade left on this last point, and Patty's already looking to get on it. 9 HP. Herbie's fighting against a Demo Man, so that may as well be 99. Still capping up on this point, and they're not going to get it. Ascent 4 3. This is winnable. Ascent somehow. It was all in the mids. I mean, so far. Last two rounds, they're finally figuring it out. Sai just playing the high ground, doing so much damage, keeping the Furio players at bay, and in the meantime, the scouts cleaning up the aggression from Blaze and Eric, so Ascent finally figuring out something on these mid-fights. Fariotech still just need one more round to end it out, but they failed at that three times now, and Ascent have been looking so good these past couple of rounds. Yomp gonna be getting aggressive if he can, but only finding a couple of scouts and really not getting any frags there. Does find Marmalu, but he's gonna get taken down for that. Patty's in on the medic, but does eat a pipe there, so he's gonna get taken down. Banny was uh, there with that frag, and now finally Fariotech win a mid once again. But Donsky and Nursi, the last two players left alive on the side of Ascent, and that might not last too long. Nursi's in so much trouble. She's not dead, though, finally. Air cleans her up. Yeah, Froyo in a similar situation to one previous, but they make it work that time, actually going to find the pick there onto Nursi. They just give up mid because they know that killing Nursi is so, so much more valuable. So well played to them on that push. And now, finally, though, going to be capping off that midpoint. Of course, they are sacrificing the point time for the frag on Nursi. Nursi is still dead. So Uber just now building as the Froyo players rolling out to two. 100% add. This could be it for the map. Ascent gearing up for the defense here. Off classes, as always, for so lethal. Let's see if we can, you know, perhaps find a pick. This defense hold is do or die for Ascent. Fariotech with just under eight minutes on that clock. Have a little bit of time to work with as, uh, I mean, they are going to want to go with this Ubercharge advantage. Here they come through the lower area board, not able to hit any shots as they run in here. They're so deep with Habib. He gets oh, so oh. much damage down. It's a fight for the side guy and he's doing all the work. Eric cleans up on a Marmalu, but now the frag is coming in for Ascent. Is it going to be enough? Bork with the big flank, but with so little HP, he's not oh, going to get it. Oh, push from Habib. Wow. Oh. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs>